How can coaching supervision unlock the secrets to propel your success to new heights? What is the power of mentor coaching? And how can it help you develop essential skills? What are the intriguing differences between mentor coaching and supervision you need to know? What are the core distinctions between mentoring and supervision that can elevate your coaching journey? Why is supervision in coaching the ultimate ingredient for your professional growth? Let's try to answer these questions. Supervision is a co-reflective process for coaches, skill building, increasing self-awareness as a coach, processing professional boundaries and exploring ethical challenges. It can provide a vision for the overall work and increase the awareness of self in relation to one's process and progress, clients, profession, and the coaching community. If the coach is a leader, it can add value to their leadership, strategy, and direction. Now, mentor coaching is a process that supports a coach in developing their skills. It works best with competencies that has to do with the doing rather than the be. Requires practice observation. Also, mentors can be directive. Now, the differences between mentor coaching and coaching supervision are the following. Mentor coaching requires practice observation. Supervision does not. Mentor coaching works best with competencies for, establishes and maintains agreements, cultivates trust and safety, maintains presence, listens actively, evokes awareness, facilitates clients' growth. Supervision works with all but really adds value to the ethical practice and the coaching mindset. Mentors can be directive. Supervisors cannot accept when it comes to ethical issues. At its core, mentoring is mainly about what happens in the session, while supervision is about what happens around the sessions, in the session, and about the way you perceive this and narrate it, building capacity on how to understand who you are and who you are becoming. Mentor coaching can be a developmental process. Supervision can be a transformational process. The purpose or benefit of supervision is about what happens around the sessions, in the sessions, and about the way you perceive what is happening around the sessions and in the sessions, and how you do narrate that to yourself and others. It's about building capacity on how to understand who you are and who you are becoming, and it also develops the capacity for reflection on action and reflection in action. Supervision is very important for practicing, assessing, evaluating, and strategizing team coaching sessions and trajectories. In summary, supervision is a co-reflective process that enhances coaching skills, self-awareness, professional boundaries, and ethical understanding. It provides a holistic view of the work benefiting the coach's leadership, strategy, and direction. Mentor coaching supports skills development in specific competencies, requires practice observation, and, remember, mentors can be directive. The key differences between mentor coaching and coaching supervision include observation requirements, the, the focus on competencies and directiveness. Mentoring is primarily about in-session activities, while supervision is about understanding oneself and personal growth. Coaching supervision aids in reflection and is crucial for strategizing team coaching sessions and trajectories. I am Angelo Strelopas, founder and CEO of Positivity Coaching, and this was a brief on coaching supervision, mentor coaching, their benefits, and key differences. Thank you.